Number 1 Butcher and B. People come here because they love the shareable food, which is fresh, delicious and never boring. And that shareable food creates a sense of community among the diners. Dishes tend towards the Mediterranean and Middle Eastern, with fare like whipped feta, green garlic papas bravas, and shakshuka bringing groups back again and again. Number 2 Mas Tacos Por Favor This food truck turned restaurant serving street style tacos underwent an expansion that helped alleviate the lines that could wrap around outside the building. You still might encounter a crowd, though, because the tacos are that good, particularly the fried avocado. Number 3 Hawthorne Hawthorne is housed in the former Friendship Hall of the former church next door, and owner John Stevenson has tried to make that welcoming vibe his restaurant's cornerstone. With pews from the old church as seats and lots of communal spaces, Hawthorne is friendly and chilled out. Number 4 Henrietta Red Henrietta Red comes from the same group as the Catbird Seat and Bastion. As a result it immediately drew a regular crowd of locals, not to mention recognition, for both the restaurant and chef Julia Sullivan, by the James Beard Foundation in 2018 and 2019 that has kept the foodies coming back again and again. Number 5 City House Take a seat and let the welcoming vibes and mouth-watering smell of pizza wash over you. Chef owner Tandy Wilson won a James Beard Award in 2016 for his playful Italian Southern cuisine, after making the semi-finalist cut nine times. And with that feather in his cap he cemented his status as one of the city's most respected chefs. Number 6 The Catbird Seat It's no longer as impossible to score a reservation here as it once was, you can prepay on top for early and late seatings, sometimes the same week you plan to eat, but the experience feels just as exclusive as it always has. Up the stairs and through a narrow hallway above the Patterson House are 22 seats in a U-shape around what can only be called a show kitchen. Number 7 Arnold's Country Kitchen Yes, Arnold's Country Kitchen is essentially a glorified cafeteria, albeit, one with the James Beard Classic Award, one of two in the city. Expansions have somewhat shortened the long lines, but because everyone in town, from musicians to politicians to tourists, eats here, expect to wait for the southern-style meet in three. Number 8 Big Al's Deli Big Al's Deli, a modest, mom-and-pop type place, has colorful tablecloths, and shelving with some grocery items. But the most obvious feature when you walk in is Alfonso Anderson's smile. Big Al, as he's known, loves his customers and people in general, and lights up when anyone walks in the door. Number 9 Husk Executive chef Ben Norton continues Husk's time-honored tradition of offering a menu that connects to the land and the farmers who work that land. While the original husk in Charleston is sea-focused, in Nashville it's inspired by ingredients from the dirt. Expect vegetable-heavy dishes that change daily. Number 10 Rolf and Daughters Italian, French, Asian, it's hard to pinpoint the inspiration behind the dishes at Rolf and Daughters, but diverse flavors are the reason this place attracts an upscale foodie crowd. Date night is always a win here, but it's also a great place to wow your out-of-town, extended family. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.